So one topic I have to briefly introduce before we get into signatures are hash functions. Now we'll talk about hash functions a lot more in the upcoming weeks and we're gonna dedicate them an entire week. But for now you just need to know that a hash function takes an arbitrarily long input and outputs a fixed length byte string. And a cryptographic hash function is non-invertible. So just going from the hash function you can't say what the just going from the hash output you can't say what the input was. Um, so it also doesn't allow you to find a cryptographic hash function also doesn't allow you to find another input for a given hash value. So here's an example I used Python's standard uh, library hashlib and read my local Linux kernel and then used the hash function called SHA-256 and used that to generate a hash function. So that's the hash output, the hash value, SHA-256 hash value of my Linux kernel. And it's important to mention here that given this hash output, this hex bytes here, uh, hex stream here, it's infeasible to find another input to the hash function that will yield the exact same output. That's quite important for signatures. So instead of actually signing documents or texts or messages in digital systems, we actually for practicality and for uh, performance reason, we sign hashes of those messages instead of the message themselves themselves. So what we really do is we sign the hash value of a message and then transfer the signature and the message and the other side computes the hash value of this message again and verifies the signature against this hash value. So why do we do that? Well first for performance reasons it Hash values are much shorter than messages usually, so it's also faster to sign them. And since we use finite fields of a certain size, it wouldn't be possible to sign something properly that is larger than the finite field. So we have to hash the actual message so it's short enough to be directly used in our field. You'll see about that later. 